Advice Forecast with Kelly Simon. Aloha and good morning, everybody. Setting up to be a beautiful day today, but we are expecting, once again, those passing showers, especially in the morning, which is really what we're seeing right now. But take a look at this gorgeous live shot out towards East Honolulu. As you can see, we do have those low-level clouds moving through, but also a lot of blue skies. This is going to be more so the theme of the day, blue skies and sunshine. Once again, though, clouds and showers riding in along with our trade winds moving through and mainly confined to the windward Malka areas under that trade wind flow, but we're seeing plenty spilling leeward this morning, even here through town, as well as coming in a little bit even for the west side here on Oahu. Now, expect those to mainly dry out about noon. Could even see that earlier, which is what it's looking like for the east side, but passing showers once again throughout the day. Good news is throughout the day also, high pressure to the northeast generating us our nice breezy trade winds. Looks like, though, this system, this high pressure system, going to push a little bit further away from us and weaken in the next upcoming days. So, although we have nice trade winds today, they're going to be easing off a little bit tomorrow through the rest of this work week, it's looking like winds up to about 15 miles an hour. So they're still hanging on, just not super strong. Now, expect some changes in our weather along with the system that I'm now continuing to monitor. Told you about it yesterday. Now, is a 60% chance that this is going to strengthen to a tropical cyclone within the next 48 hours. Looks like it could reach tropical storm strength, but on the weaker end of that before it kicks a little bit more to the north, it weakens and then reaches us. Looks like we're going to be seeing some rainfall from this. It's looking like Sunday into Tuesday, but as for major impact, not too likely as of right now, but I'll continue to monitor it. Mostly sunny skies through Saturday, and then that rain could be as possible as early as Sunday. All right, that's looking at your weather now. Send it on out to Surf News Network's Gary Keeley, who has everything you need to know about your surf today. Hey, good morning, Gary. Hey, Kelly. Well, on my cell phone, checking out the North Shore. La Nia Kea is up to two feet. Some spots don't take a, a trade wind swell, but some spots do. And we're looking at Makaha also just about two feet, but it takes like 30 minutes, but the water's perfect. In town, we have a swell from White Plains all the way to Waikiki. It's one to two with off and on some three-footers. Looking fun with three-foot solid surf sets coming through to Diamond Head. Sandy's really powerful, three feet, and I wouldn't be surprised if there were pluses. We're at that. We had a low tide here at zero feet at 5 a.m. It'll push to a big two-foot high tide at 1230. That's when we'll probably see the swell a peak at easily three feet, and especially Sandy's careful there. Makapupo, one to three. Trades, 10 to 25 as the morning gets going. Small craft advisors for our Mariner friends out in the deep blue. And our sunset, 7 o'clock, rising at 610. Eight, 30 events, nine days. The 16th annual Duke's Ocean Fest starts this Saturday. Lay a draping ceremony, 4.30 at Coheo Beach, Queen Surf. I will see you there for that. That's the update. Compliments of Green Tea Hawaii. Join the loyalty membership. You'll save plenty and be good to your body at greenteahawaii.com. All right, Ron, Christine, have a great day. Thank you very much, GQ. We have top stories.